Hi. How are you? Well, I had always been interested in the performing arts and, you know, being on stage. Um, and I think back when I was in middle school, uh, I had been in a couple of plays and was encouraged to take voice lessons just um, to help the, the whole acting pursuit. But then as I took voice lessons more and more, I discovered that's where my interests were in singing. and. Um, and even my first voice teacher said, you know, I think you're going to be an opera singer. That's the type of voice you have. So then I kind of just grew into that. My parents, when I was about six, um, decided to buy a piano. Uh, and it was a beat-up old piano that they bought for like three or four hundred dollars. Which the, the surface was peeling and the keys were broken and it was an awful, awful piano. My dad ended up refurbishing it, and as soon as I came into the house, I just uh, jumped down at the piano bench and wanted to learn how to play really badly. It's a good metaphor. I like to think of myself that way. Like, um, you know, like that you that you always stand back up. You know, no matter how hard things get. Um, I, don't know, I, th I think it's a pretty good way to look at uh, at life. Um, I don't know. I just like it. I think more of what I'm getting interested in now is uh, is making the work extremely playful and. Um, things that things that that when you see them for the first time, they seem extremely fun and bright and energetic, but then the longer that you look at them, the, when the meanings of, of what the, the subject matter really is, the, they start to come to a more serious level. Like, um, you know, at first it's just p bright packaging and shiny objects and toys and things like that, but then eventually like the messages of bombs and children, like learning how to play with bombs and <laughs> like the, those, those sort of connotations just start coming more to the forefront and like almost like they melt into a more serious sort of atmosphere. Um. I feel like with live theater or live opera, um, there's, you know, there's this rush that you get when you perform um, that's unlike, I think, I've been in one movie before just as an extra. It was the most boring experience of my life, though, just sitting around on a movie set, not doing anything. 
but when you're when you're in an opera and when you're on stage you can in, you interact with other people and you're singing and it's just this total you know kind of almost sensory overload um, experience and that to me is the most exciting thing about it I mean I I'm in it sure to like you know create art and share it with people but I just love to perform too I love to entertain people <laughs> So, do you think like an art, as an artist, you are special or different? It's not so much that we're special or different, it's, I mean, different in some ways, but in many ways we are quite similar. A lot of us have uh, interests in what, or most of us have interests in what goes on in the outside, or in the real world with politics or with, um, with sports. I mean, granted, most of us are spending several hours a day locked up in a practice room um, trying to perfect our craft, but without being able to network or to have contacts with other, you know, with other genre or other fields in the world, uh, the business community, the political community, whatnot, um, it's hard to make things happen. Like, uh, I try to look at it as a very blue collar profession. I think that's a really important, like for me, like that's really important to think about it that way. Because you start thinking about it as like, like you're some sort of high and mighty artist or something like that. And it's just, it's just, bull I don't know, those are just bull bullshit definitions. I think it's, to think of it more as like a trade. And you get up every morning and I make my work. And, you know, I make these sprockets, like, you know, they're not sprockets. Like, look at it, that, I don't know, I guess it, it helps my head a lot more. Once you go to so many auditions and you see how many other people can do it, you start to not feel as special, <laughs> you know. But then it's hard to be like, well, well, I have this gift. Well, so do a hundred other people that are here waiting for the same audition. They have that gift, too.